Good morning, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about a problem on a parabola. So I'll share my computer screen with you. says, find a point on the graph of x squared equal to 8y that is closest to the focus of the parabola. Okay. So, <clears throat> solution. So, equation of the parabola is given to us is x squared equal to 4y. And the standard form of the equation of the parabola is x x minus h square x minus a square is equal to four p four p y minus k. Okay. So sorry, x square is given as x square is equal to eight y. Okay. So in our case h is zero because x square is by itself. And 4p is equal to 8. So that means p is equal to 8 divided by 4, which is 2. And also k is 0. Okay. So the parabola, okay, parabola has got foci or focus, I should say, has got focus. Okay. Parabola's uh, focus is 0, 2, okay? So, k is 0. k is 0, h is 0, p is 2. So, parabola focus coordinates are, okay? So, parabola, let me write it down. Parabola focus. on the vertical axis on the vertical axis is is h k plus p so in our case this will be since h is 0 0 and k is 2 0 and p um, p is 2 but k is 0 so 0 2 okay so this is the focus uh, coordinate, okay, for this particular parabola, 0, 2, okay. Now, uh, consider a point, consider a point, a point x, y on the graph, x square equal to 8y. Okay, so the distance, therefore the distance, the distance from this point, from this point to the focus is d is equal to square root of x minus 0 square plus y minus 2 square. Now, notice the equation of the parabola. The equation of the parabola is of the parabola is x square is equal to 8y or if you divide by 8 on both sides then we get y is equal to x square by 8. Same equation, okay? Why do I do that? Because then I can substitute d is equal to square root of x square for y I can write x square divided by 8 minus 2 square okay
so because d is minimized d is minimized minimized when d square is also minimized when d square is uh, minimized okay so d square remember d square is equal to x square plus x square by 8 minus 2 square okay if i create some space here so this Okay, so this d square I can write as a function of x because there's only x in the denominator, so in the expression. So f of x is equal to x square plus x square by 8 minus 2 square. So d square is a function of x. Okay, so in order to minimize d square uh, d square sufficient to minimize to minimize f of x minus f of x okay so uh, let's take the first derivative of f of x. So we already have written f of x. Now we can write f prime x, which is the first derivative of f. x with respect to x is 2x. x squared derivative is 2x plus, plus 2x squared by 8 minus 2 times and derivative of x square is 2x by 8 okay which if you simplify becomes 2x plus <coughs> plus uh, 2x square by 8 minus 4 times 2x by 8, right? I first distributed the 2 just outside x square minus, divided by 8 minus 2. So, let's simplify this. So, let me create some space for myself. So, this can be written as f prime x is equal to 2x plus 2x squared by 8 is x squared by 4 minus 4 times 2x by 8 is nothing but x by 4. Okay, so I'll distribute the x by 4 inside the parenthesis. So I'll get 2x plus x by 4 times x squared divided by 4 minus minus 4 times x by 4 okay so this will be equal to 2x plus x cubed by 16 minus x so f prime x is 2x minus x is x plus x cubed by 16 okay now if i set this equal to 0 okay 
set f prime x equal to zero for the minimum. Set f prime x equal to zero, which implies um, x which implies x plus x cubed by 16 equal to zero. Or if I or if I take x, it is outside the parenthesis as a common factor is one plus x squared by 16 equal to zero, okay? Uh, <clears throat> this will, uh, Move this up a little bit. And that means uh, either x equal to zero or one plus x square by sixteen equal to zero. Now. 1 plus x square equal to 16 equal to 0. If I subtract 1 on both sides, it becomes x square by 16 equal to minus 1. Now, x square equal to minus 16 is not a possibility. It's not a possibility here because x square cannot be negative. So, that means I have to work only with the x equal to 0. So, only possible value, possible value of is x equal to zero, okay? x equal to zero, okay? So, x is equal to zero. So, when x is equal to zero, <laughs> if you remember from, uh, let's show you. What we have done, when x is equal to 0, the equation is x square is equal to 8y, y is also 0, right? So if you move this up, uh, if you move this up, so when x, equation of the parabola, equation of the parabola is To start off, we had x squared equal to 8y. So when x is equal to 0, y is also equal to 0. Okay? From the equation of the parabola. Okay? <clears throat> so, so x is 0. So this is the minimum. This is the minimum by first derivative test by first derivative test by first derivative test okay so the closest point so the closest point Closest, closest point to the focus, point to the focus is the vertex, is the vertex, zero, zero. Okay, and that should be the end of this problem, okay? So the closest point on the curve is the vertex, which is the minimum distance from the focus, okay? Then the coordinates of the vertex is zero, zero. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please uh, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please share this with your friends so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner.
I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time with another interesting problem.